halfway through this operation, forgot to document it. Basically, what I did was take the take both halves of the old deck and laid it down. I'm just using it as a template, and I put the my chop strand mat on top of it, and I'm tra traced it out. Now I'm cutting it, and it uh, looks like I'm going to have to go get another uh, eight by what was it? Uh, eight square feet of uh, this stuff in order to do all of it. But I'll, I'll have most of it with what I had left over and what I have here. So I'm going to go ahead and keep keep cutting this. Uh, when we get it cut, we'll uh, roll it up, mark it, and uh, have this ready to go on for tomorrow. Well, I got this all cut out for tomorrow. One piece of, for the bow, <clears throat> and, uh, number two piece for the port, number three piece for starboard, and um, that'll that'll cover everything. I had to buy buy two more packs of uh, fiberglass mat, but we're good to go, and it, it's cheap enough. It's all uh, eight dollars and twenty eight cents for an uh, eight square feet. Good enough, you know. It's uh, really inexpensive, so uh, this will cover all of the foredeck, uh, the exposed foredeck with um, uh, with uh, fiberglass mat. And we're, that's that's the start. That's the base layer. So we'll get that started tomorrow. To unwrap this. This is the baby right here. Fifty inches wide by 108 inches long. Basically, that's three yards. I'll tell you what. This is enough to do the whole foredeck almost in one stroke. It's going to be a little bit out on the edges i got to do uh, toward the uh, center of the boat. But other than that, this pretty much goes right straight down the middle of the, um, the, the foredeck and will just about do all of it. So this is 18-ounce uh, roving, really good stuff. And I'm going to get this unwrapped, and we're going to cut out our, our, our piece that is going to be one piece, basically, uh, to go on the foredeck and so as soon as this goes down uh, the chop strand mat as soon as that goes down this goes on and I, again I've been watching uh, boat works today and when he was doing this he, he went what got this down completely saturated went right over the top with this and well it's not the same stuff he was using 18 uh, 1708 I believe and, and it just and went fiberglass and right over the top of it and so that's what we're gonna do so anyway Let's get going. I'm going to cut this stuff out and get it get it ready to go up on the deck. Okay, uh, give you an idea of what we're dealing with here. This is the original roving from 50 years ago. Look how heavy it is. Now look at how light this is. So this is a much lighter roving, but it is roving. It's a heavy, um, heavy fiberglass weave, and uh, it's going to be plenty adequate to give us some nice bulk and some uh, strength in that sub deck. So anyway, uh, but I got it all laid out on the roving here. I'm going to trace it. And as you can see, we're only going to have a couple little pieces out on the edges uh, to fill in. I've got tons of stuff to, for cutoffs that will go right in there and, and uh, fill in that spot. So let's go ahead and get this uh, traced out, and we'll get it cut. There you are. Is it recording? It's recording. Okay. Yeah. He's cutting off the roving. Or he's cutting the pattern out of the roving. Whichever. It's a very bright sunny day. It causes glares. Thank you for standing in the shadow. I need that. I can actually see it better. I hope it's not too dark to be seen. Yeah, that's beautiful. So they need to see every bit of the cutting you're doing? Probably not. <laughs> but I, I enjoy having you be my videographer. Uh huh. You can always edit out what you don't want. <laughs> That's why I married you. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> what are you going to edit out of our marriage? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> This is a whole lot harder to cut than the chop strand mat, I'll tell you that. Oh, those are terrible scissors you're using, though. They're mm -hmm. cheapies. You should have used the good dress shears I had. Sewing you would, shears. You would not want me using your good dress shears for this. No, but those are ridiculous. Supposedly a dull shears. You could always use your mom. She doesn't sew anywhere.
well, one thing about it, I'm really glad that this is not quite as heavy as the original roving uh, because I think it'll go down a little easier and it will use less less epoxy. Wow. That's... Why would it use less epoxy? Because it's thicker. No, the 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 uh, this is thinner than the original roving. Oh, thinner. It's thinner. So and why would it use less epoxy? Because the, the, the depth of the roving takes up the epoxy. All right. All right. Get this other side and we're done. This is, this will make of uh, top strand mat. And then this goes right over the top afterward. I've been studying, uh, I think I already mentioned it. I've been studying uh, boat works today and uh, and one of one of the jobs <clears throat> he did he went right straight from getting the chop strand down, mat down to, to doing uh, 1708 then back to chop strand I mean he just kept going layer upon layer well we're only going to do two layers today we're going to do a layer of 18 ounce roving and before that we're going to put down chop strand mat and so, if, if we just get that done for today, this deck is going to be sealed and hard. Uh, you get, by the time we get done with this, it's going to be, you'll be able to walk on this with no problem. And then, next trip down, uh, we may go ahead and, not may, but we'll probably, if temperatures hold with us, we'll go ahead and put down some 6-ounce cloth on top of the chopped strand mat, and then we can begin putting on some... Uh, some fairing compound and get this deck finished up. And that's it. That's all of it. I'll cut these other little pieces afterward. But anyway, all right. Well, my thanks to my sweet wife for ready to go. I put it back on the after cutting. I put it back on the uh, the old deck just so I can get the wings. And these wings are all cut properly and they're all marked. This is starboard, and there's a little S right there, and this is port, and there's a little P over here. So we're good to go. So this go, will go down right on top of our chop strand mat, and uh, we'll just keep on laying some deck. And uh, we get this done for the day, that'll be it. I'm not going to worry about getting any, cloth, any more cloth down on top of it, because you're going to need some time for uh, the resins to set in and uh, harden up, and we'll just leave it be for this trip. But... Guys, we've come a long, long way uh, just on this trip. So, uh, hope you're enjoying this. I'm, I'm, I'm kicking, boy. This is just amazing to get this much done. I think it's going to be enough. Yeah, you did well. Oh, this is more than enough. You may want to move on down for more here. So I think, go ahead. Yeah. What, I, would, I would try to do a little slurp it all over the place instead of, okay. You'll do it the way you'll do it. That's good. Thank you, dude. Yeah. You're doing a great job, man. I... Oh yeah, oh geez. No, no, I'm talking about the, the, you. This you got to have this. You, you can't. You know, there, you you've got almost got to have a mixer. Yeah. How far uh, over? Are that you, goes I... to right about there. Okay, boom. So you coming that far? Yeah. Right. Guess what? We'll play games here. Yeah. Yep, good. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Okay, I just need to rake it back to here. That's enough. That's enough for right now. So we're gonna come down. Right here, come gonna on. have the rest of it on top. Yep. That's right, Rich. Try to get those those edges, man. Big time. Yeah. Get off the okay, good. All right. Now we're, now we're ready to go. Okay, guess what? R rip it back again. This you got a lot right there. There you go. Okay. Now hang, okay, hang, grab that in just a minute. Grab that. Yep. I got this. I got this. That's it. 
Okay, here we go. We're gonna, go. We're gonna start up here? Yep. Good. Let me, let me get this red. For the sake of the, for the sake of the video and the guys that are watching this on my channel, the reason I'm not using the fin roller is because it cakes up when you use it on chop strand mat. You've got to you've got to use a regular roller, and this is not the one they recommend, but it works, and it is rolling beautifully. And uh, styrofoam. Yeah, this is just a, a regular. Uh, well, you can buy them anywhere in the hardware store. You know, there's there's one that they actually have that's made for this. Well, let me tell you something. The one that's made for this is not going to work any better than what this is working. Guess what? You're going to need more, so I'm going down. Yep, definitely. Well, we're getting there, Gary. Thank you. Good, good, good work here. Our father in heaven. How do you want to play here? That's good. That's good. Now I'm going to rake that stuff back. I was not wanting to get back onto that shelf just yet. Go to a hand. Yeah, There's it. a little bit left, not much. Put it on the edge. See that? Mm -hmm, not that. Mm -hmm, not that. We got some. Leave some in there. Oh yeah, no problem. We're good. We're good. That's awesome. Let me get this stuff distributed out down here. It's perfect. Look at that. Nice job, Gary. Nice job. I'll tell you what, it helps to have a go ahead and that's it. That's it. No more. No more right now. I'm gonna be able to get it down into this corner. Just leave the rest of it in there for the moment so, so, until we get this down. Okay. Can you move right, 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 that's where you go. Um, All right, we're good. Just hang on to what you got. Yep. Hang on to what you got. Hold up, hold up. Right here you got uh, some. Yeah, I saw that. Hold up. <clears throat> there you go. Good job. All right. That's it, that's it. I, I tore it, darn it. Tore it. No problem. Yeah, that's it. It should be pretty much lined up. After we get this... After we get this batch out on the stuff, go in and immediately begin another batch. Yep. Another 12. No, or at least 10. We've got tons of time, dude. We're good. Yeah. That looks bad. That's it. That's it. Perfect. Okay, we're going to start up here again. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right. You're a good mix man, Gary. Shows yeah, you. it's very sophisticated. Now, we're, let me ask you something. Yeah. We're, we're, were you the one doing the mixing last time? How did you do nope, that? No, Sweet Baby did it. Okay, so he was doing the mixing and you were doing the placement. Yeah, and see, I wasn't placing. Like I say, it wasn't like that. It was like, I, I would just, I had this huge, well, I had the roller, then I had a big brush. Yeah. And we're just slopping it down onto the wood. Yeah. Slopping it around onto the underside of the, like, uh, of the... The old, the, the, the old the piece deck. that would pick up, pick up. Yep, it came up. Okay, I think I'm just going to get out of here. Yeah. Grab some more. Definitely. Because we're going to need another, at least another 10. I, I, I'd go 12. Go, go 12. I'll play right here for you. Yeah, good, good. Initially. Yes. However... It's all, you know, a lot of it's going to have you're to You're going to have to come over there, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you got a bunch right there. Oh, that's great. Thank you. That's perfect. You all right? No, I'm losing it from the fumes. All right. No, you're not. Damn it, baby. I've never worn a mask around this stuff. There, there are guys that do. How about this edge? It's all good. I think it is. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. You know what I did? I, nicely I've... done. Nicely done. Okay, bro. I think you're gonna have to take it over. You got plenty there. You got tons. Yeah. I see. I made a mess. It's all right. Just grab, go up on top of it. I made a mess down, down here. Down. It's like a it's like a bad hair day for it over there. Here yeah, you go, you're really taking care of it though. Very bad day. Sweet. That did come out well. In spite of it. Oh yeah, baby, that's it. That's what I'm talking about by needing the twelve. You hang on to that. You have a small piece, you don't, do you? No, You're this... going to come down out with that big piece right there. What's that? That whole big one that's down on the ground. That's that... the next one down? That's the next one down. Okay. No, there's no more small pieces. I mean, this is it. This is the fit. You want more down there? Yeah, the, th the problem is I, I did not want to be coming up onto that other, that side piece. Uh, but I've got what I've got now. This is where I need it's it right here. It's all sandable in the end. That's what I need it. It's all sandable in the end. That's where I need it, right on this edge. And I know what happened. But whatever. It's not going to matter, man. No, it's not. Grab it. Yep. Grab it with Babbit. Actually, I think it's probably fine. I think it's probably saturated all the way down. It's oh, just yeah, no, you're, nice. I got news for you. You've got a rock over the top of the sucker now. You, you're not going to have any problem with that one. It is sealed. Once the stuff hardens up, you can run a major brainstorm on this, and it'll be fine. Yeah. Well, guys, we got the uh, <clears throat> the deck laid with some top, top strand mat, and that's all we're going to do for this trip. Um, I want to have give this sort of, uh, plenty of time to harden up and um, set uh, before I have to cover it. So we're gonna go ahead and just, just stop right there. Um, and the next trip down, we'll just uh, start all over again, working on uh, um, getting the roving down on top of it. But for right now, I'm, I'm happy. The, the deck is sealed. Uh, we've got a wonderful, complete layer of chop strand mat down with plenty of epoxy into it, and I think we're gonna be good. Um, by the way, and, and when I'm going to turn around and show you this, uh, there are some areas that looks like there are voids. There are no voids. The, the, what we've got going on is that I had used uh, on the coring itself yesterday a whole bunch of uh, thickened epoxy. And anywhere there's thickened epoxy, it's going to turn up white. Uh, and so, anyway, but I'm going to turn this around and show it to you. I'm happy. This, this was a good trip, and we got a lot, lot done. And uh, it's... Uh, I think it's going to come out great. So let me turn this around. We'll talk about it. 
Well, guys, there it is. After many months of working on it, <clears throat> that's the first layer of glass down. And uh, it is sealed. I'm not going to have to worry about it. Uh, it is sealed all the way around. And um, next time, if you see right over there, there's the roving that's all cut, laid out, ready to go. But uh, we I just checked the amount of um, epoxy resin that I have left. I decided, nope, we're not on this trip. I want to make sure that I've got enough. And when just this much took a lot. I mean, I cannot believe how much resin we laid down, how much epoxy. It was an amazing amount. Uh, because we would saturate the, um, yeah, we would saturate the balsa, put that down on top, and then uh, go right back over the top of it with even more epoxy resin, and it and it just absorbed it and absorbed it, and then we got done with that up there, and we said, man, that was a lot, and then then we came back here, and and each of these pieces is huge. I don't know if you can see number two right there, uh, and number two. By the time we got to a number two, it, it I mean. Well, anyway, my point is, it all got done. This is all done, and uh, and it's it's gonna it came out really really good. Uh, and like I said uh, in one of the early parts of the video, there are no voids in it. Uh, there are white spots where I I hit it with some um, uh, thickened epoxy last night. There are a number of uh, places like that that I wanted to to get it filled in some gaps and stuff like that and so a, a lot of this is what you're seeing particularly up there where that seam is uh, that there's a lot of thickened epoxy right in there filling a crack and one thing and another but uh, the point is it's done and uh, guys this was a major major trip and i'm glad we got this much done so all right all right i'm feeling good about it so I gotta clean up the mess, take all the epoxy stuff downstairs, roll up the um, the roving, and that's for another trip. And so uh, we come a long way, guys, from uh, back in the day when I tore into this and, and we found all the rotted coring underneath, and it just looked like garbage. So anyway, excellent. Hope you enjoyed it, well, guys. I'm thinking I'm gonna call it a wrap for this trip. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna go over and grab some. Uh, supper at my brother's house tonight and uh speaking of my brother i want to just give full credit um he doesn't like to be in videos totally understand it uh but uh gary thank you man unbelievable uh he just mixed epoxy like a madman this afternoon just batch after batch after batch and and then actually helped me pouring well, i mean as i was taken up with just trying to to roll all the the, the epoxy into uh, the chop strand mat and so forth. He, you know, he saw places that needed a little more and he'd dump a little more in there. So, it, it, yeah, Gary, awesome job. Thank you. Appreciate it, bro. Um, but uh, it, it's been a good trip. Been a really good trip. And when I think back on where this deck started, whew, uh, man, I, I'd have to go back and look at it. I can't even remember. Uh, you know, tearing up that deck and, and finding all that incredibly rotted coring underneath and it's gone all of it's gone all the repairs to the to the sub deck or what i call the pan they're all made uh the new coring is down and we now have it sealed um you know it ain't the end of the line we still got a long way to go um but uh look it's it's a lot better than it was so anyway uh the way things are going i probably won't get in this year i hate to say it I would love to get little girl in the water and be able to go sailing, but uh, um, the main thing is to, to get all my repairs done uh, as much as possible, and, and by next spring, next summer, get her in and do some serious sailing. Um, I already have another solo planned, and this time I'm going to do uh, the Wakoi trip all over again, uh, but uh, we're going to do it right. We're not going to lose our uh, shackle up the mast and have to use the uh, jib halyard to haul up the main and all all that kind of garbage we're going to try that get this done right this time uh yeah, there were so many lessons i learned on that first time out you know bring more canisters to, to go in my old cook stove so i don't have to eat cold ravioli you know what i'm saying oh uh, well you know it's a beginner's uh beginner's experience is what teaches you so uh next summer we look forward to that so in the meantime, guys, stick with us. Uh, we got more to go, 
and uh, as, as soon as uh, we get a chance, and uh, hopefully in the fall it gets it stays warm here a little bit, and we'll be able to get down one more time, and uh, at least maybe get that roving on the deck, and uh, that'll uh, probably won't be able to finish up the deck until spring. Uh, it's it takes warmth. Um, you got to have some serious sixty degree days to do all this, and uh, we're coming into. Uh, mid October, late you know, end of November, and that's you know you're getting cold by then. So, all right, that's it. N enough talking. Listen, thanks for stopping by, restoring little girl, and uh, been a super trip. Hope you've enjoyed this, and uh, we'll catch you on the next time around. Well, just for <laughs> this is kind of cool. <laughs> we haven't even left to go over to my brother's for supper yet. Look at this. I can't believe it. It's already hardening up. It's already drying. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Amazing. <laughs> this is excellent. Anyway. Okay. Well, sorry. Sorry for being too elated here, but, uh, man, it's been a long time coming, and I'm really happy. <laughs>